we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. We've come to Changi Village Hawker Centre. It has newly opened this week, we think. It has, yeah. There's been some renovations, some cleaning. So um, I believe part of it is open at the moment and then the rest will open um, shortly. It is raining. It's wet. <laughs> so we are going to duck inside and go and get some lunch. For my birthday recently, I was bought a nice gimbal for uh, my phone. Uh, so I'm just going to actually do, take you on a little walk through uh, the Hawker Centre and hopefully uh, you'll be able to see it nice and smoothly and you'll be able to enjoy uh, everything that is here. And then we'll talk more about the food when we go and get it. some of the uh, differences from it so there's new ferns there's new like I guess it's bird prevention I guess like the spiky things and the netting um, looks like there's a new roof as well and there's like an extra overhang bit along the edge like so we said it was raining today it's starting to ease off now but um, that doesn't seem to stop people coming some of the places are still shut as we thought and the rest of it will open there's like a little street market down the middle as well that's selling other food and there's like little arcade games as well and I think that's happening till the end of the month so it's nice to see that this place is open again and filling up with people. We're still waiting for Jonathan to come back with the food. Aspen's already nearly finished. Um, I love the sounds around here. You can hear like ladles in walks and frying. Love it. So uh, there are two famous nasi lemak stalls here at the Changi uh, Village Hawker Centre. We have tried one of them before and we thought the best way to figure out which one was the best for us, in our opinion, uh, I'll show our rules, um, is to have one of each. So we bought one of each, one from the Mizzy Corner and one from the famous nasi lemak, uh, the Changi famous nasi lemak. Um, so we're going to try them both. They both look really good. They're both priced exactly the same. Immediately we can tell that the colours are different. The one from Mizzy Corner is more brown and the one from the um, famous Nasi Lamak is more yellow. Um, the Ikan Bilis is very different as well. One is like battered and the other one is not so battered. So we're going to make a start. So uh, the first thing and one of the most important things to do is to mix up the rice and the chilli. So we're going to do that first of all on the one from the famous stall. How hot is that chilli? No idea. <laughs> I'm going to mix in the Normally I taste oh, the oh, chilli oh. before I mix it all in, but he's already mixed it all in. So Can I get a crispy acambulus? No, that's just from the chicken. No, it's not. They do it differently. No, it does. It's, it's in the... it's in the... here. It's in the batter. Having okay. one and one. Was this Mizzy? Uh, Mizzy, you call it. I like the... Um, Mizzy acambulus? Middle acambulus from Mizzy. I like the saltiness. Okay, I'm going to try the famous... Changi famous store. So here we go. Mm. That tastes really good. It smells it's good. All the way from behind the camera. It's just so delicious. <laughs> I can't describe it to you very well. It's not too spicy. It's moist. It's not dry at all. It's not too wet. Okay. Coconutty, full of flavour. That's a good one. The Mizzy one actually comes with less chilli, um, but it's thicker, so it might go a longer way. 
And the Ikan Bilis here is my preferred. It's bigger and it's not battered, it's as fried as it is. You can see pieces of like onion inside the, yeah, it looks inside the um, sambal here. Okay, this one is less lemak, less coconutty. The rice texture is a bit more grainy. I'd say the sambal has a different flavour, it's slightly sweeter, slightly more muted, but it's nice. Out of the two rice, I prefer the one from the Changi Famous, the famous Changi Nasi Lemak. That's me. Millie's going to do the chicken review. But now my favourite bit, fried chicken, which I could eat any time of day, 7.30 in the morning. So this is the Miziwa. So it's darker, nice and oily. This one feels like it's going to be quite crunchy as well. Mm. This chicken's juicier. The chicken itself, I prefer this chicken, but I like the Mizzy batter. So my perfect combination would be Mizzy rice, Mizzy acambalis. This chicken, because it feels juicier, more tender, and then the Mizzy batter. That would be my perfect combination of nasi lemak. I prefer the rice from Mizzy. This this rice feels a little stickier, and I like the loose grains of this one. I think, yeah, a bit more coconutty. I prefer the Mizzy rice. For me, I'm a famous Changi nasi lemak stall lover. That is my favourite all the way through. Like. Consistently my favourite. I voted for Mizzy. And I have had this one before. And I really enjoyed it last time. So we've swapped we've swapped plates. I'm gonna consume this one and he's gonna we've also got some satay and some carrot cake that um, Bar has ordered for the table, even though the kids are pretty much eating all of it. So we're gonna enjoy our atmosphere, enjoy this and then have a little wander around now that the rain is stopped. Perfect. Enjoy. Lunchtime. I'm gonna eat. I love it here at Changi uh, Village Hawker Centre. My, my family, we used to come here all the time because uh, basically in 1986, at the beginning of the year, my parents got membership to the Changi Beach Club. And then halfway through 1986, they suddenly decided that they, my dad got offered a job or a master's and they moved to the UK. Um, and because they had only got it recently, they decided to, play, to pay an absent fee which meant every time we came back, we would stay there and we'd have some fun there. And so um, it's only not far from here. We'd walk from here, uh, walk from there to here and then have the food here. Yeah, the boardwalk's been built since then as well, which is really, really nice. So there's loads of memories for me here. I remember all the shops around the other side as well, over down that way, uh, where we used to go and buy like, I don't know why, there's one year I bought like three Hawaiian shirts and like some trainers or something. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some more today. To so yeah, it was cool. So I love it here. It feels really good. And what I love about this uh, this new refurb, rebuild, or refit, it doesn't feel too different to what was here before. Yeah. Um, and it's still got its Changi Village Hawker Centre charm, and that is wonderful for me. We're gonna walk around. Yeah. And just explore and see how, see how, see how I've become local already. Just <laughs> hanging out here for an hour and a half. We're going to go over to, I think, the beach area and to see what's over there. favorite places you can go over to Pula Ubin which is just I was describing it to someone the other day and I was like there's nothing there like there's no like big shops there's no big houses or anything there's no traffic there's a small taxi service but um and they kind of look like there's nothing there why would you want to go there and I was like because it's just so nice being around nothing like we like to hire bikes cycle around a bit as much as we can there's some beautiful trails around there there's a boardwalk out over the sea as well I think when the when the tide is at a certain time you can see like the corals and things over there love going over to Pula Ubin for just 
just a bit of, I guess, to be completely surrounded by nature. We often talk about we love being in nature and I feel like Ruben is just one of those places to be completely surrounded by it. We haven't been to this uh, park before, but there's like a whole park connector from here that will take us all the way to East Coast Park in 18 kilometers, which is pretty cool. Um, our kids love the park connectors on their bikes. Uh, they actually created one of their own vlogs about it not so long ago. And if you haven't yet had a chance to check out their Milo and Aspen channel, please do. They would love it. And they reply to all of the people who send the messages as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> These are my absolute favorite trees in Singapore because they kind of branch out in this really, really unique way. But also other plants and other trees end up like growing in them and like using them as a foundation for, you know, what they're gonna, what they're gonna do, which I think is pretty cool. And it's a great metaphor for life and for, I guess, the people that you're allowed to kind of root themselves into your life as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but I love them. They always remind me of just being here in Singapore and makes me feel at home. The last time uh, we were in this area actually was to take a boat from the jetty over the way here um, to go and uh, send off my grandfather's ashes into the sea over there and it was just a really really beautiful day and um, really really chuffed to be back here on such a peaceful quiet day. It has obviously been raining. Most people have stayed at home and so um, even now when the uh, rain has dissipated um, and it starts to dry up there's less people around which is lovely. So it's cooler, it's peaceful. There's a few people around, there's a few birds making lots of noise, but actually it just feels really, really nice and peaceful here, which is great. Just having a lovely time here. It's really, really nice. It's very, very peaceful. I know I've said it before, but there's very, very few places in Singapore where you don't hear either traffic or aircon. And this is one of those, which is really, really lovely. Mm. Got beautiful views over at Pilau Ubin, which I realize has been such a long time since we've been there. We need to go again real soon. Thank you. Christmas break. Yeah, and um, we should take all of our friends that don't like being outside. Yeah, put them on Ubin. Mainly <laughs> my friends who did NS. Mainly our friends who did NS don't like seem to don't like <laughs> going for forest walks. They triggers trauma, I think. <laughs> That's all good. We should go have a good day in Ubin. Yeah, we've got the sounds of the waves and the birds in the background. It's not really anybody else along this stretch. There's a few walkers and a few people fishing. Yeah, just nice and peaceful out here. And just having the view out, because I think in Singapore when you've got lots of tall buildings, you don't often get that like long view. But out here you do. It's nice. And we we film some of your music video along that way. Um, that's a good question. Like further along? Was yeah, it? further out that way. Yeah, and there's all these sand flies, so I'm like trying to film and stay still. I could feel like my feet were being like, <laughs> eaten by these sand flies. <laughs> Can you hold that? Yeah, that's huge. Leaf face. <laughs> Two little eye holes in it. Oh, we spotted a wild cockatoo just running around. I don't have my big zoom lens, so this is a. Uh, this is all you've got, I'm afraid. No, I just put my finger in. Oh, you need to do your finger. Here we go. Quite regularly when we go from Changi Point uh, Ferry Terminal to Pula Ubin, we'll see this uh, sculpture and we'll wonder what it is. I've always thought it's Changi Point. But Millie's got some real facts around this, so. Well, oh, real facts from, from the internet, so. It was called, its official title is Inscription of the Island, and it was originally commissioned for the Singapore Benali, Benile, Benal, 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 Art Exhibition 2016, anyway. Um, the idea was that it looked like um, part of a larger sculpture that had like fallen apart, and then this was what was left. So it was originally somewhere else, and then it was, and then it was placed here. Because um, of the point. Changi point. My mouth, my lunch. Yeah. So, so you got your nasi lemak in there. <laughs> wrapped up. It's really cute. This, this is a cucumber. Like. Can I see how heavy it is? I'm finished. Some, this, that's I'm coconut. Oh, giant seed. Yeah. yeah. Well, different coconut looking things. Oh, and cool. this huge shell. Uh huh. Go 
Our kids love wide open spaces and this is nice for them to just go and wander and explore and as you see Milo found loads of things along the way they just love picking things up and finding them. We do lots of that um, in the UK in the woods just go and, go and finding things. I guess you have to be a little bit more cautious here like we've been warned of um, snakes in certain places on the nature walks that we've been to that you just have to be a little bit more careful of than uh, we ever would have to in the UK but we love walking through the rainforests. Some sort of clay pot. It's got like a little, like a little lip here. It looks like. Uh -huh. Go show daddy. Oh, that water's cold. <laughs> Sometimes the beaches in Singapore get a pretty bad rap. Um, but the sea here looks really clear for a good couple of feet out. Uh, there's lots of little shells around as well, which the kids like hunting for. Um, we love going over to St John's. Um, island, it's just, it's so tropical. You just get on the little boat and you're away from everything again. No big shops. You can hire bikes and scooters over there as well. I think you can hire little sun tents as well um, when you're over there to just get around the island a little bit better. But if you want somewhere that's like a beach away from anywhere else with just some sea and sand, then those are the, those are the islands to go to. And check out Kusu as well that has um, all the little turtles and terrapins on it. <gasps> my feet are getting very wet now. But it's okay, I've got my Crocs on. I live in them. Wet feet. First, I thought it was a toy octopus. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But it's some sort of it seed. It like an octopus. <laughs> you thought it looked like an octopus? Because <laughs> it was laying like this way. <laughs> that's cool. So our time here has come to an end because we're heading off to do various different things. Millie's off somewhere with Aspen, my dad and Milo are off somewhere, I'm off somewhere else. And um, so we've we're all splitting up at this point, um, and, but uh, we are at the end of our lovely, lovely time here. I'm so surprised you haven't been here before. This place is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and I uh, will definitely be back uh, at another time. The food is great here. Yep. This place is just an amazing place to hang out. The kids are having a wonderful time. And um, nearby, there's also like the Long Island Brewery uh, Brewing Company. I think it's that's nice just place. reopened. Is it just reopened? Yep. Or soon to reopen at least. Yeah. Um, and recently we went to the... There's the Changi Chapel Museum which um, if you want to find out a little bit more about um, war history and this area, um, there's a whole museum over there. Um, you can get a bus from here to there. Um, really lovely place to go. Really great staff as well if you want to know anything. Yeah, there. and there is also the, the Changi tree there, which is a really, really good there thing to explore. There is the Changi tree. I won't tell you more. Either check out our episode or go check it out on your own. We've got the new boardwalk as well that we haven't done. It's not that new. Of, it's been there for well, it's not new more now, than 10 years. Well, we haven't done it. Since I've been reading about it, um, I love the sound of those boats. <laughs> and yeah, obviously getting to Ubin from over here, which I encourage you if you haven't done it, even if you're a family with kids, just be prepared with what you take. Um, and it's great, you can have a look at these vlogs as well. Um, I'll put all the links below so you can see what's around this area as well. Great, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to see you again another time. Bye! Bye.